afternoon. Thanks for that nice one. So we'll just come here to deny that we're reforming. That's all. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I, I thought I would actually greedily ask the first question, which is there's been a lot of uh, there's been a lot of speculation over the last few days about uh, live dates, etc. I wondered if you could tell us what your plans are. Our plans to shake up the world. You know, we're going to go around the world next year. We're going to start off in our hometown, Manchester. And then we're going to play two big, two big gigs at Heaton Park in the June, June 29th, June 30th. And then after that, we're going to take it around the world. Okay. If anyone buys we're a ticket, we're of course, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to open up uh, any questions. Uh, John Rob, the first question to you. Mr. Rob, yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah uh, What's it sound like? It's not a chip down memory lane, you know, not at all. No, we, uh, yeah, we are doing new songs, John. You're looking decidedly cyber handsome, Johnny. He's <laughs> always looked yeah. handsome. Yeah. <laughs> we're still handsome devils ourselves, don't you think? <laughs> no, we're not. No one's looking as good as you, Johnny. Uh, next question, um, in the middle there. Just the belly laughing. I'm Mr. Humor of these guys because it's, it's a rolling comedy act, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm Mr. Never Ending Smoking. <laughs> you know, being a drummer, got to breathe occasionally, so I've missed these guys. They keep you out the bus, in the bus, coughing all the way. We, we, we come together and rehearsed uh, lately and went through a few songs, and it's just. Something magical happens when us four are in a room together, and you can't put your finger on it, and it's just so beautiful to catch back hold of it again. Missed it, you know. I've missed hearing them as players, you know, because I'm the one that can sit there and watch them play all day, and it's lucky for me. And he does too, he doesn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one thing I should have said if you, if I don't recognise your face, please don't be offended, but if you could introduce yourself, that would be great. Uh, Colin Patterson there, you're from. Patterson Radio 5 Live. John, two years ago you made that artwork saying I have no desire whatsoever to desecrate the grave of Seminole Manchester pop group and Stone Roses. What's changed? Um, well, everything changed when me and Ian started seeing each other again. It was surreal. We went from crying, laughing about the old days to writing songs in a heartbeat. And I think it's. In some ways, it's a friendship that defines us both, and it, it needed fixing. And two phone calls later, the band was no longer dead, so there is no grave. This is a live resurrection that we're inviting you to, so you better be careful. <laughs> <laughs>